Happy Vlogmas! Ooh, he's excited. <sighs> so I'm just going to be checking you through my random days in December, which I hope you enjoy. And I thought I would start off, I'm not going to be doing this every day, it's just going to be randomly when I have nice things to show you. So starting today, it's the day actually before the 1st of December, but I'm sure you won't mind about that. <laughs> Um, I'm currently blocking out my Hansel Hap. Um, it's a pattern by Gudrun Johnson and the yarn is by um, The Wool Broker. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. So I'm pretty pleased with this. Um, I find it pretty easy. The border took a while, but all in all, I would say this was pretty easy and nice to knit. I knitted it in about two weeks. Um, this is obviously the half size one, you get a full size one, which is actually a square. Um, but yeah, I love the yarn. That was the first time that I've used Jameson and Smith. And I absolutely loved it. I just thought it was so nice. It blocks so well. It's nice and woolly. Yeah, I just absolutely loved it. So... This was in my stash as well. This has been in my stash for a few years. Um, so I was glad to use it up. And I also had to use just normal pins, which I don't like doing because they can rust if you're not careful. And yes, I um, have a block in that missing as well. So if Santa is watching this, I would like to ask for a few more um, steel tea pins. <laughs> I am sure Santa is not watching my vlog, but um, yeah, so really pleased with it. It'll be dry by tomorrow, I think, because I have a spin dryer that I use for uh, getting all of the water out of the yarn that I dye. So whenever I block things, I soak them and then I put them in the spin dryer and take some of the moisture out and then I block them. So they tend to dry sort of fairly quickly, which is really handy. Um, although in general, I don't really wash things in much woolly things, but just whenever I'm blocking, it's really, really handy um, to have the spin dryer. And um, yeah, I can't wait to show you what this looks like on. I think it, because when I tried it on and it was unblocked, it felt like a little bit small but now that I've blocked out it looks absolutely massive so I'm really excited about that so hopefully tomorrow you will see what it looks like on. What are you looking at Rufus? Look out on the feast of Stephen When the snow lay round about Deep and crisp and even Brightly shone the moon that night Though the frost was cruel When a poor man came inside Gathering winter fuel And stand by me if I know it telling yonder peasant who is he where and what his dwelling sire he lives a good league hence underneath the mountain right against the forest fence by St Agnes Fountain Together through the ruins, 
felt slightly out of control. Spent uh, most of the morning doing admin and chasing up stuff when I was supposed to be dying. So it's now 12 o'clock ish. There's actually nothing to eat in the house again. So I uh, just ate my advent calendar chocolate and I'm thinking that I will just start doing some dying now even though I could do with eating something but there's nothing to eat so then I'd have to take time out to go and get something to eat which I feel like I don't really have time for which is stupid I mean you have to eat <laughs> um but I thought if I just started doing some dying I got some uh, yarn in the Mordenton pots that perhaps I could claw back a little bit of the day. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. Um, I also have some photography to do on Thursday, which I hadn't planned for at the beginning of the week. And I was hoping to take Friday off, but now that's, well, I might just make it happen. Um, yeah, so yeah, there's a lot going on. So I'm just going to do some dyeing and at least I'll feel as if I've done something useful and you will have some more nice yarn uh, in the next shop update and we'll see how that goes for today. Last year? 
should be really nice. I am, I'm excited about dyeing it again, but I probably won't get to it before next year. Um, could be February by the time I get to it. I'm finishing off dyeing the dorset. I didn't get any dyeing done today. I just did some mordant in, but that's fine. Go to reset, rebalance, reassess for tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to start off that process by, um, we've finished off weaving in the ends on my shawl. I'm going to sit with a piece of paper. So every time something comes into my head that I think about or that's slightly stressful, I'm going to write it on the piece of paper. Um, I'll probably have to weave in the ends for quite a while. So hopefully that gives my mind enough time to process what's happening. And I might light the stove just because it's feeling cold and whenever it's cold in the house I feel really demotivated to do anything and I feel like, yeah, I'm not giving my best effort when I'm not warm and cosy. So that's what I'm going to do for the rest of this afternoon. I think I have a couple of bills to pay so I'll just do that now and get it out of the way and then I will sit down, I'll make my cup of tea and I will reassess. I think um, I'm a I've got a little bit too much on at the moment and I think for next year I'm going to have to consider streamlining a few things just so it's not as everything doesn't come on top of me at once, though that seems to be how it happens. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. So if you if you have any tips for not over committing and not taking too much on i'd be really interested to hear how you create margins in your days so uh, i'm gonna go do that night and rufus is just getting paid look at this the Virgin Mary and